Joining me in the brand new high tech tomorrow show studios, renowned origamist Sock Song. He's the winner of the Louis Award, the greeting card industry's highest honor. Also joining me is Doug Fink, president of the Pennsylvania Paper and Supply Company of Scranton, PA. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me here today Thank for you our, for our debut me. webcast. Thank you. And, and we have a treat today, actually. Sock is going to actually be creating an origami work, a sculpture, during the course of this interview. I don't know what it is. I don't think you know what it is either. We're going to be surprised. So this is very exciting. Okay. We should let viewers know that the TV show The Office, the actual structure you're seeing in the opening credits in Scranton, PA, is your paper company. That's actually correct. Uh, uh, the tower and the uh, the opening shot of the uh, lead into the office uh, is our uh, yeah, is our structure. Okay. Now, do you think that paper gets a bad rap? Are there a lot of paper haters out there? Uh, Paper haters, perhaps, but uh, um, I think the TV show The Office uh, may have uh, cast paper in a negative light uh, just because they had to pick the most boring industry and the most mundane industry they could find, and, and paper was, uh, I guess, at the top of their list. Well, but of course, we need paper. We certainly do. Try and live uh, 24 hours without toilet paper, which is one of the products we sell. I'm thinking about that, and I'm trying to think of the alternative. I don't know that there's any alternative uh, under consideration. I hope not. I hope not as well. Okay. Do you think that we'll ever see the paperless office? Uh, I don't think we'll ever be completely paperless, uh, at least not uh, in the next few generations. There will always be some use. Interestingly enough, uh, Pennsylvania Paper and Supply, which is our company, is mostly paperless. Oh, interesting. So you guys create paper, but your office is actually... We don't really retain any paper in our, uh, in our accounting system at all. Is that sort of hypocritical, though? Uh, a little bit. Okay, but you're honest about your hypocrisy. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, now, Sock, I don't want to interrupt what you're doing. And by the way, we're surrounded by this absolutely beautiful menagerie of, of origami art here. We have uh, the, the classic crane. Is that correct over here? Yeah. Okay, I don't want to distract you. And then this is a lovely elephant. And then there are these, these wonderful sort of smaller sculptures over here. And you, you are a strict adherent of the no cut, no glue policy, right? I tried to do no cuts, no glue, yeah. That's one of the big rules of origami. So. Okay, and, and you yourself grew up around paper, yes? Yeah, well, I've always done um, folding, origami, the things that you normally would do, like the fortune teller, the little fortune tellers, or little sailboats. So I grew up folding origami when I was little. Okay. And by the way, for our website, cbsnews.com forward slash tomorrow show, I'll be saying that a lot. Um, will you be able to give us instructions on how to make your own fortune teller? Sure, yeah, I can give you a diagram to post there. So okay. you can, yeah. Thank you. How do you think paper can sizzle up its image? I think if the, uh, the office uh, television show is what may have hurt the image of paper, I think it'll take a te another television show maybe to sizzle it up. Perhaps CSI Scranton, <laughs> okay. where the investigators use paper to solve crimes. Um, or instead of uh, desperate housewives, desperate paper salesmen, which there are no shortage of those to, to come by. Okay, th that sounds kind of hot. <laughs> Could be, depending okay. on how it's done. Now, are, are, Either of you concerned about, about the environmental impact of all the paper that's currently being used? By one estimate, the amount of waste paper created by U.S. offices each day could encircle the earth 20 times. I would say that that would definitely be cause for concern, and certainly Xerox is on to something. So will the future of paper at least be greener then, do you think? I think the future of everything is going to be greener. But uh, as uh, Michael Scott in the office uh, said uh, computers are, uh, are great for playing games and sending funny emails, but real business is done on paper. Well, you know, and I gotta say also, I had a death in the family a few years ago, sorry not to bring this down, but I got a bunch of condolence notes by email, and I hope none of the people that sent me them are watching, but it was tacky as hell. Yeah, I've uh, received that as well, and if Miss Manners is, uh, is watching this, maybe she'll write a column on that. Are we ready now, Sock, to debut? Wow! It is a origami space shuttle. I think it's, uh, it's uh, phenomenal. I'll scale it up a little bit and put some engines in it, and, I, and I'll jump on board. <laughs> well, if you can have a paper house That's like right. Jim Juzak has, this is absolutely the Tomorrow Show. We don't have a problem. This is beautiful. Very good. I love this. Well, terrific. Well, before we go, I want to point out that the furniture on this set is all paper. This table is made of paper from Way Basics. The chairs that we're sitting on, we're sitting on, on wiggle chairs designed by Frank Geary, made of paper. Good thing you didn't tell us that before we sat down. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Sock Song, Doug Think, thank you very much. And thank you for joining us. For more information, go to cbsnews.com forward slash tomorrow show. I'm Mo Rocca, and until next time, don't stop thinking about the tomorrow show. Thank you guys very much. Right Next now. time on The Tomorrow Show. No, I don't have no parachute pants, man. We ain't really have some business right now. MC Hammer and the future of... Today, uh, in Japan, they met Moraka. <laughs> Time-wasting. Arigatou <laughs> gozaimashita. <laughs>